KOR to Sports here with Tom Laufer, promoter of K2 Promotions. Big, big fight tomorrow, man. Uh, uh, Alexander Usyk uh, defending his WBO Cruiserweight title. For fans who haven't seen him, and Cruiserweight's a hot division right now with Gasaev's win, big win, and you know all that. So for fans who haven't seen Usyk, t tell us what they could expect to see tomorrow. Usyk's a tremendous fighter. He's an exciting fighter. He's got nine knockouts out of ten wins. He, d he won the WBO World Championship with his tenth. His tenth fight, he's an Olympic gold medalist, uh, so he has a great amateur career. He's very advanced as a professional. He beat the top cruiserweight, uh, Glowacki, who knocked out a uh, hook over here in the States. So uh, he's an exciting fighter, someone to definitely keep keep uh, your eye on because he's got uh, just a, tons of potential. Once he has exposure on, on HBO, he's got a ton of exposure. doesn't care who he fights, where he fights. And uh, I think he's going to, I mean, Bernard's a legend, but I think Usyk's going to steal the show uh, tomorrow. There's a lot of fighters coming out of that region, out of Ukraine. Uh, obviously, Vasily Lomachenko is one of the best fighters in the world. What, what is it, I mean, that, that, that all of a sudden there's this huge surge? You know, it's hard to say. Uh, it's definitely a lot of discipline, a lot of drive, a lot of desire, um, but also a lot of talent. You know, it just happens, you know, like Triple G from Kazakhstan, Usyk's from uh, Ukraine, the Klitschko brothers from Ukraine, Lomachenko's from Ukraine, so um, a lot of fighters uh, from that region, but you know, they're, they're special guys, Lomachenko uh, and Usyk, you know, they were very close on the uh, Olympic team uh, together and uh, two tremendously talented uh, fighters. Yeah, that's. Uh, I definitely can't wait for that fight. It's opening up uh, HBO. How excited were you to, to actually get that show uh, to, on the telecast? Oh, it's great. It's great working with Golden Boy again. You know, we've done a number of uh, shows together. Um, the most memorable one was when Triple G fought Lemieux. We sold out Madison Square Garden, but we have a great working relationship with, with Golden Boy. And uh, it'll be a great triple header. You got uh, Usyk uh, versus Machuno. I mean, nobody can overlook uh, Machuno. You know, I've been dealing with uh, Kathy Duva and, and main events, and we made that fight in about two days. They were eager uh, to take the fight. Um, then you got Jojo Diaz as the co-feature, and then uh, you know Bernard Hopkins against uh, Joe Smith. So um, it's it's going to be it's got a little bit of everything, and uh, it, it's a great uh, triple header on HBO. And you know, what can you say here at the Forum? You know, we did a Triple G fight at the Forum. Uh, Chaco Tito just fought in September at the Forum. And now uh, Bernard Hop Hopkins is headlining the Forum. So the Forum's really uh, re-established itself as uh, one of the great uh, boxing venues. Huge announcement you just made with uh, K2 Promotions, Klitschko versus Anthony Joshua. That's an amazing heavyweight bout. Going to be at Wembley Stadium. I'm sure that crowd's going to be insane. Tell us about that whole... Uh, that whole. That whole we're, we're excited about that. Uh, it doesn't get uh, any bigger than that. You know, you got two, you know, great heavyweights, uh, two Olympic gold champions also. Just uh, Vladimir had uh, such a tremendous run for 10 years as a uh, heavyweight champion. Uh, Anthony Joshua is a young guy coming up. Um, so it's really a 50-50 fight just depending on the youth versus the experience. Vladimir is just completely driven to get his titles back to prove that he's still the best in the world. And uh, Joshua is, is a very talented, very popular guy. And uh, when you got two really popular heavyweights like that fighting against each other, I mean, it's uh, going into Wembley Stadium, you know, expecting a crowd of 90,000 people is, uh, is a huge, uh, huge event. I was going to say that that that's good. That's probably going to be the highest gate that that place has ever had for sure. For boxing, yeah, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, definitely got to ask you what's the latest with the the Jacob Triple G situation. What, what's what's going on? Well, that's a really uh, highly anticipated fight as well. It's the WBA mandatory. Um, Triple G has 23 knockouts in a row. Danny Jacobs 13 knockouts in a row since. Uh, since he lost to Pirog, he's been on a knockout tear. He's knocked out every one of his uh, opponents. So when you have two big punchers like that, clearly the two top uh, fighters in their division, um, it's, a, it's a great matchup. So um, the purse bid set for, for Monday. Hopefully uh, we can work out some agreement uh, before uh, the bid. I've been in regular contact with, uh, with Al Heyman. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can uh, we can work out the details. Um, if not, you know, we have the time pressure for the for the purse bid. But I've always been optimistic that we can work it out, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, uh, it, uh, we.
we get something worked out before. If not, we'll be in uh, Panama City at the at the first bid. <laughs> uh, the fact that you brought it up earlier, you're working with Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy on this card. So I definitely had to ask, what's the latest Triple G, Canelo? Uh, you know, Oscar was saying September. He said he bet his boxer's li his promoter's license on it. What 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 can you give me on that? When you talk about big fights, that's a that's a huge fight. I mean, the heavyweights are the 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 big fight. You know, physically. Uh, Triple G and Canelo are, uh, that's just a fight that uh, boxing fans are, are, are uh, you know, can't wait to see. So uh, nobody's overlooking the Danny Jacobs fight. Uh, if, if Gennady can get past Danny Jacobs, you know, uh, I've been talking to Eric Gomez on a regular basis also about uh, doing the Canelo fight uh, in September. Hopefully we can come to an agreement as well, uh, because that's, uh, like I said, that's a, that's the fight that uh, the fans want to see. That's the fight everyone really wants to see. So um, if we can get that fight done for September, that would be a, a huge, uh, huge fight for the sport uh, and, uh, you know, for the fans. Is the idea to have that in a huge stadium like, like in Dallas or, or, or are you guys looking at Vegas, is that kind of part of what you guys are talking about with that whole situation? That's the type of fight that uh, every, every venue wants to have that fight. Um, you know, that's one of the things where uh, we would defer to Golden Boy as a lead promoter to, to choose the venue, but uh, I know uh, Jerry Jones has a lot of interest in that uh, in that fight. Uh, MGM in Vegas has a lot of interest in the fight, and uh, so does Madison Square Garden. So, um, you know, you have the, the top arenas in the, in the U.S. Um, all competing for that fight. First, Actually, first we have to finalize the deal, but then uh, just figure out where it goes. But uh, wherever it winds up, that's going to be a, a tremendous event. Thank you so much for the, t the, the time, Tom. Really appreciate it. Please continue putting on great fights, man, because uh, the fans are tuning in and, and they show their appreciation that way. Well, we're looking forward to a great 2017. For, for Gennady, uh, 2016 was, it's only been uh, two fights. You know, we had the mandatory with Wade, and then we had the, the Canelo situation, then we had the mandatory with the Jacobs. So we had a, f a few road bumps, but uh, hopefully next year will be a, a monster year, not only for Triple G, but also for the, the Klitschko uh, Joshua fight and, and for boxing fans the 2017 should be a, should be a great year. Yeah, it's already looking amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good.